Hey, hello everybody, and welcome to Playframe and Horizon Zero Dawn. I am very excited. I've been meaning to play this since it came out. It has been too long. Uh, this is a very special playthrough, by the way, because this is the first of the bonus playthroughs made possible by our new Patreon. Uh, for those of you who don't know already, uh, Playframe has a Patreon, and whenever we hit certain milestones like uh, 100 patrons or 200 patrons, 300, uh, we plan to produce like bonus videos and playthroughs and stuff to celebrate that, just as a way to say thank you. So when we hit 200 patrons, we put it to our supporters and said, hey, which game should we do for this bonus playthrough? And they voted for Horizon. And now here we are. You're all caught up. I'm really excited about this, though. So thank you, patrons, for making this possible and for supporting us. We appreciate it a lot. Anyway, I'm going to stop prattling. Let's get in there and enjoy this very beautiful looking video game. Uh, new game. And, hmm. You know, let's do normal. I feel like taking on a little bit of a challenge. I feel ready. I think I can do it. And I'm sure I can change it if that proves to not be true. Anyhow, to adventure! Oh, we are in for a beautiful time, everyone. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. Here. Wear this. It belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, Water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this, one day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Mm. 
All mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you... Blessing its name like it was one I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. the gatherer, aren't you, little lost? Now go and see if you can find some mom. Hmm? Well done. That's a good boy. <laughs> Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. Some really nice animation in this already. Like, uh, some excellent mocap work, some really impressive facial expressiveness, too. Ugh, there were rats down here. Oh, come on, be nice. This is their house. We can't go insulting them just when we got here. We are guests. I'm sorry, rats. She's had a hard day. Alright, let's get going. Oh, bats too? Boy, friends are plenty down here. Looks tight, but I can get through. Wait, which which direction are we talking about here? Cause I see two options. Hang on. Hmm, hang on. I'm gonna see what's down here. Oh! More bats. You're right. Sorry, bats. This is your house. I am loving the, the way she... Come on, do the thing. Do the thing. Hang on. I'll get back on the slope. What, this thing she's doing where she is switching to crawling up on all fours a little bit? Ah, darn it. Okay, I'm sure she'll do it later. But, like, that crawling on all fours thing is awesome. That's a really well-observed... of the metal world. One of the old places. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just, I was just gonna say, really well-observed touch. Maybe she does it on stairs, hang on. Uh... Yes, that's so good. That's great. What a good idea. I guess, like, there's not a whole lot of games in which you play as a kid running around, so... I guess it kind of makes sense that you don't see that form of traversal animation very often. I just can't think of another game I've seen that in. And it's a really well-observed touch because, like, that's how you climb upstairs sometimes when you're a kid. Well done already, animators. Sorry. I know we're in an interesting place. Oh, let's explore the interesting place. Ross said never go in places like this. But they're interesting. But I have to find a way out. Also that. Hmm. It's really neat. I wonder where this is located. Like, if this is meant to be, like, a total sci-fi other planet, or are we just in, like, a sci-fi version of Earth's future, or... I guess we'll find out in good time. I'm just, uh... Trying to start making early guesses. Beautiful looking game, though. Yes! I love it. Sorry. Animator nerd can't help. <laughs> but appreciate good ideas. There's something up ahead. That, see, that's sort of not to keep harping on the one animator nerd detail, but seriously, that's the sort of detail that gets added because someone was a good observer of life. Like, that's why it's so important to be, like, drawing from real life. What's that? When you're, uh... A dead person. You know what, this is more important. <laughs> There's something shiny there. Ooh. This is cool. Oh yeah, I love this. Like, I don't know a whole lot about this setting yet, other than... Apocalyptic future world... Robo-dinosaurs... And now cool lights with headsets, but uh... Digging it already. Metal door. Closed. Hmm. Maybe this device I found can help. Maybe. How do I get it open? Hmm. Power lines. More lights. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Okay. Let's investigate. Yeah, just really nice, like, kid movement in general here. Like, they had to have gotten at least one kid into a mocap suit in a mocap studio running around to get all this. I bet that kid had a very good time. <laughs> that was probably a fun day, or series of days. Hmm. Uh... So, wait. Okay, so I can turn things clockwise and counterclockwise. Oop, nope. Oh, here we go. 
Uh... Changed color. Oh. Well, okay. I, I don't really know. <laughs> I feel like I don't get what the puzzle there was. I just turned it a couple times, but works for me. Let's move on. Just in here. Hmm. <laughs> really nice, unsteady, kind of flopping down the stairs, too. What's that? Well, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know any more than you do, kid. That is a good little scene. This poor lonely kid. Hmm. Bunker door. Blast door heavily shielded. Seal integrity maintained. What is this place I've stumbled into? Can't read any of this, right? doesn't seem like it. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Let's see. Log Connor Chasson. Recorded January 1st, 2066. Okay, so probably Earth. Definitely future. Um, are you gonna play, or, uh... There we go. Well, Happy New Year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So they always said watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Hmm. So it sounds like that was from kind of when this disaster went down. So they knew it was coming. Hmm. Or at least suspected it was coming. Oop, hello.
Okay, it really seems like they did know it was coming. Whatever it was. Oh, we're a little detective. In this grim little tragedy scene. Come, child detective. Let's solve the mystery. Why did they die here? Indeed, that's the mystery. What happened to them? Those are the questions we're going to have to answer, kiddo. Hey, there's Skylar. Hey, Machu Picchu. Always wanted to see that. I never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Slightly turned around. I don't remember which rooms I've been in, what logs I've seen already. Uh. I mean, seriously. Record our thoughts for posterity. Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go. Hey, could any of you be a little more specific with your final thoughts? It would really help Kid Detective out. I'm looking for details here. And maybe that's all I need, you know? That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing that retro weave dress and the way you smile. I had to look away, are you going to see? On my face. What had just blossomed inside me, you know? <laughs> it was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. Still very cryptic. And pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. I mean, uh, death. No, I'm sorry. It's been a while. And oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace. Hmm. Hey, Hello. He found me. Frost found me. Hey, Down here. I'm coming. I'm coming. Excuse me, rats. Thank you. You've been wonderful hosts. Peace out. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Yes. Holy 
shake. What do they mean? Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. Uh, I'm hooked. I'm already super intrigued by what is going on with this, uh, with this world and this story. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Oh, look at the ants. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Okay. Okay. My Aloy, come now. Good. Now eat the berries. Uh, press up to transfer health from your medicine pouch to your health pool. Aha. Uh -huh. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers' embrace. Embrace. The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. It's lovely out here. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Look at that gorgeous lighting. Whoop. Aloy, a machine is coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. Okay. There. Now stay low. They don't want... No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. That's so cool looking. It's amazing designs. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Okie dokie. Oh, where? Oh. Hello. Come, back this way. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. So neat. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Yeah, look at that cool hazy lighting though. That's so gorgeous. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Yeah, set me loose on him. I'm ready. Can I borrow your bow? It's bigger than mine. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Ignore him. We are outcasts, and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. 
Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. Yeah, really good facial expressiveness on these characters. Like, there's lots of games that go for super realistic, uh, like, rendering and, uh, like, character designs, but not all of them really get really expressive faces in there as well. This one's kind of getting the best of both worlds there. There. See them? These are called striders. Ooh. What's this thing? Oh, good. More medicine. Hey! Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Okay. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Good. That's it. More rocks. Those will do. Follow. Okay. I want one more rock. For luck. Wait up! Your legs are longer than mine. Hey! Slow down. I'm little. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. <laughs> ah yes, aim the distraction rock. Aloy, throw a rock near me. Okay. Come, girl, it's safe now. Yep. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Ooh. Yes, please. Let's see. Metal shards and sparkers. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Oh. Okay. Neat. Okay. Use the stocks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Hmm. Open up the weapon wheel. Uh. Okay. Hold X to quick craft hunter arrows. Oh, cool. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Neat. Let's put those arrows to use. Yes. Follow. Okay. Given that I can quick craft them in a menu, I'm assuming that I'm going to have to be doing that on the fly sometimes. <laughs> yes. Here. Stay low on the grass. Let's go to war. Right. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. A strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? Hmm. Let's use our technology. Yeah, alright. Strider. A blaze canister is its weakness, and it's weak to... That canister is weak to fire and... Broken shields, aren't we all? The 
canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Shifts? How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Never. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Uh... Which is the roll button? Uh, okay. Ah. Firing. Nice. And in the face. And in the face. There we go. Victory. The first of many. Metal shards and sparkers. You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! But I want this. Oh, that was a blaze. What was that just doing on the back on the ground? And what is a blaze? I'll ask these questions later. Oh, I love this environment. Look how cool this looks. It's. I'm not always gonna constantly be saying it's gorgeous out here. Just. Assume that I'm always thinking it in my head and not saying it out loud. At all times. Because, like, look at it all. Yeah, come on, we got this. All right. Enter focus mode. Oh, and I can highlight. There, nice. I can highlight its patrol path. See where it's gonna go. Uh, actually, hang on. Might need more time. Ah, I could have gone. That's fine. I'll wait till it goes by. There's no rush. I mean, he's not going anywhere. Okie dokie. See? Easy. Can't let them see me. Alright. Anyone else? Hmm. There's one. Okay. Nope. Wait for it to turn around. Go on, go away. I'm trying to sneak. Shoo. Thank you. Okay. So I only see that one over there. Yeah. I think I can make this. I need to see their path. I, I'm seeing them. Oh boy. 
little faster, please. There we go. Okay. Yes. Hmm. No, nah, we'll wait for it. Oh, come on. Turn around. Walk past. You're too close for comfort. There we go. Much better. Okay, so... Is this a spot? Yes! We did it! So... How'd the climb go? Hey. What? How is this? Shh. Follow me. This way. How do you know to avoid them? Because I'm wearing the internet. Now shush. And follow, I says. I told you, I- you know what? Just questions later. And don't get us caught like an idiot. Are those questions helping you to walk faster or more quietly? Because if not, perhaps they could be saved for later, hmm? Bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips. They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Whew, this poor kid is going to need so many therapists. Flash points offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose fist and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose brain and Aloy will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Choose heart and Aloy will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions. Hmm. Aim for the head. Drop your rock or knock the rock from his hands. You know, it's been a hard day for Aloy and I think she's feeling pretty renegade right now. So go for the kill, kiddo. Aloy, we cannot. Children, away from there. Back to picking berries. Oh, you're bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. 
Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the Matriarchs brought you to me. So the Matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The Matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Cute. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. Hey, hey level three you reached, huh? Skill points and max health. Nice. Okay, Let you, let's unlock skills then. I've worked so hard. Okay, wow, there's a lot. Uh, all right. Several trees. Prowler, brave, forager, traveler. I'm guessing prowler is like stealth stuff. Brave is like combat. Forager is gathering traveler. Uh, shard salvager. Disassemble resources and modifications into 50% of their metal shard. No idea what traveler means. That's fine. Let's... Uh, figure out what to spend points on. Uh, silent strike. Press R1 to perform a silent takedown on small machines and humans or deal high damage to medium enemies. That sounds great. Especially if we're going to be doing stealth a lot. I might get that one. Uh, hunter reflexes. Time slows while aiming during a jump or a slide. That seems like something that'll be very handy when I'm a little more familiar with 
these controls and this combat system. But maybe a little advanced for where I'm at right now. I still don't know how to roll. Or slide, for that matter. Or jump. <laughs> uh, silent drop. Landing from a fall or a jump is completely silent and will not alert otherwise unaware enemies. Neat, but situational. Uh, while aim. Oh, wait. No, that. Wait. Oh, that's landing. That's not just a silent, like, attack. Of dropping attack. That's silent landing. Okay. Sorry. I was. I spaced out while I was reading that for a second. No, that actually seems like it could be very helpful. Uh, let's see. Concentration while aiming. Toggle with R3 to slow down time. Ooh, that seems very helpful for those precise shots. Critical hit, press R1 for a high damage attack on downed enemies. Neat. I don't know what downs an enemy, but that could be good. Uh, precision. Light spear attacks have an increased chance to knock off armor and components. Probably good. Lure call. Use something from the tools menu to lure a single enemy to your position. The target will be the closest, most centered in Aloy's view. Okay. Healer speeds up healing from the medicine pouch and gatherer additional natural resources when foraging. That one seems just good on its own. Let's just go ahead and get that. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's also get the stealth attack, the, yeah, silent strike, because that seems great, and... Uh, let's get slowing down time while aiming, because that also seems like it's just going to be so helpful. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Well, you know... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, wrap this episode up for today. This is a very fine start. I'm... Whoop. Uh, your spear can knock off machine armor using R1. Try it on the training dummies. Okay, well, I was gonna sign off, but this seems, like, way more fun. Oh, yeah. Look at me knock off the armor. You can also knock over small machines using R2. Check the item description in your spear for more information. Okay. Nice. Oh, look at us go. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a good time, I can tell already. Y'all, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you, um, not tomorrow. I, I think we're going to be doing these bonus series, like, three a week instead of, like, every day, just so <laughs> Carrie and I don't utterly destroy ourselves trying to keep up with this, uh, additional content schedule. But, yeah, like, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's go ahead and plan on that for uh, the Horizon series. I'll see y'all on Wednesday, then. Have yourselves a good one, and X to jump, maybe? Yep. Have yourselves a good one and goodbye. You know, that sucks. Maybe the uh, maybe the heavy attack. Have yourselves a good one and goodbye. Yeah, it's a little better. You know, we'll figure something out later.